Welcome to Every Way Woman. So women are launching themselves into entrepreneurship, and today we're talking to Anna about just that. She turned her passion for makeup into her career. So tell me, what is it like to be a makeup artist? Girl, it's not all glam as it looks in the social media. What do you mean by <laughs> that? You know, honestly, like, if you look through the social media, all these people, you know, put up pictures. We only let you see what we want you to see. It is not all glam. It's you do put on a good face. <laughs> It's long hours, a lot of driving. I mean, real, really, my friends really know, they hardly ever see me. And it's a workout. I don't have a, I've a seen, life. I've seen the case. You are lugging. Yes. I mean, you have to be in charge of all your own tools, your products. Yes, it's a lot of tools, a lot of products, you know. Um, searching for uh, different type of brands, you know, that fit different types of people. Um, not um, the expensive kind, too, sometimes. Some so, more, rewind. You know. Take me back to the moment when you decided you wanted to become a makeup artist. Wow. Well, I never really wanted to become a makeup artist. It, it was more of a hobby. It just happened. You just were. It just happened. I mean, I literally had a full-time job, um, and... I, doing makeup and hair was just a hobby. I would do it for prom. I started back when I was 16, girl. <laughs> so how did you turn that into a business? <laughs> um, it just naturally happened. People were calling me. I remember I ended up doing a friend that um, ended up was gothic. And she ended up saying, you know, glam me up for my wedding. She wore the gothic whole red glam. dress. No, she wore a red dress for her wedding with the, with the white veil. But I ended up transforming her. It was a whole transformation that people were like, wow, you did that? And I think I was probably like 20 when I did that. How did that make you feel when you were able to transform someone? Well, in the beginning, it felt good. Now it's a different feeling because I end up helping organizations and nonprofits where I end up transforming and giving back. And it's different, like cancer patients, you know, stuff like that. And to see them pretty much, you know, get teary eyed and stuff like, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing my makeup. It feels good. It feels good. It feels like I'm doing something. And even if it's for those couple, you know, minutes, you know, that they're sitting in my chair, I'm happy that I touched a life in that yeah, way. Yeah, to make someone feel beautiful Definitely. is a true gift, and Definitely. you really have it, but thank you. there must be a pressure to always feel beautiful yourself, oh, or yeah. to look beautiful. Oh yeah, every time I go into a, a job, I mean, all my ladies here probably know that when you go into a job, it's kind of hard to wake up every time, every morning, to put on your hair and put on your makeup, you know what I mean? So, doing, being a makeup artist, you have to look presentable. You, you have to be the part. Oh yeah, and especially me, I'm known for retro, so I gotta wear my red rose. <laughs> <laughs> but so how long have you been working as a makeup artist? 18 years. 18 years. You don't look old enough. I hope nobody just said my age right now. <laughs> yeah, nobody's doing math at home, Anna. I promise, I promise you that. So what's next for you as a makeup artist? Well definitely, um, I wanna do my own salon. I, I, I'm a type of person that anybody that knows me, I reach for the stars, you know, and, and nothing's impossible for me. So right now, I, I have plans to be able to open up my own salon. But tell me about the networking. You have to network being a, a makeup artist. It's, it's really important to network. A lot of people that I, that I interact with, uh, inspiring makeup artists, they always tell me, like, I don't like to work with other people or, you know, stuff like that. And I just look at them, and even though I shake my head, it's like, Girl, you gotta learn to work with other people. It's all about networking. Well, yeah, what's the dynamic with your team? Oh, everybody in my team needs to know how to work with each other. That's why you're in my team. Mm -hmm. But definitely, when you network, you end up finding another job. You know, a wedding could turn into a fashion show. The next person has maybe a connection to a celebrity. You know what I mean? So it's all like, you know, then you're working on movie sets, then you're working, you know, so it's, it's And you're working on Every Way Woman, making us all look good and feel beautiful. Well, we're gonna have more of your tips on a few more episodes of Every Way Woman, and of course you can find tricks on everywaywoman.com. More when we return, stay tuned.